Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix online meeting number 88, uh, going on November 6th in the middle of busy, busy time. I've been at MVP summits, I've done birthdays, I've done wedding anniversaries. Actually, most of those are getting postponed to the weekend because everybody here has been sick. I hope you guys are doing better than my family is right now because, oh man, talk about keeping up with everything. Oh, so busy. Uh, but we have some good stuff to talk about today. We'll do triage as we always do first, but then we'll just have a big yay moment for Wix 3.10.1 being launched and away and no feedback that I've seen to the negative um, at this point. Um, and then we'll do questions, comments that people might have or not have or whatever. We'll see how that goes. As always, these meetings are recorded for those people that are unable to be with us right here, right now. Uh, so without further ado, triage. Bob, you ready? I am ready. Seven bugs. I think these are all new. Yeah, like six days ago is the oldest one. So that's kind yep. of kind of nice to not be giving the same things. Um, add option to harvest, and I've lost the mouse cursor. Lovely. Let's see. Down. There we go. All right. Uh, add harvest uh, option to harvest dependencies. Um, I, I thought for sure that this was already captured somewhere. I'm pretty sure there probably is another one. And if there isn't, we, sh we could toss it in the bucket of heat stuff that could be done, presumably yeah. in 3x, or because I don't think it'd be breaking. Um, yeah, it would or have to 4x, but 4x, and I don't. Like, yeah, okay, whatever. So. Yeah, I guess uh, we can keep it in 3x for now. Yep. Bootstrapper update with per user install scope updates correctly, incorrectly. And I was hoping maybe Jacob knew what was going on here. I remember something about per user being funny, but then a lot of this is confusing to me because I don't think update replace should actually do an upgrade. Because update replace means download that other bundle, launch it, and then close mine. And it sh you shouldn't touch anything. This is an update, not an upgrade. So it doesn't seem like it should run any of those old things. Run the old as an upgrade silent, yes. Using a custom BA, yes. Sure. I think we leave this open, ask for log files, and then go from there. What's weird is that install scope per machine works, so that's where I'm really confused. Is this uh, someone doing an upgrade and getting a bundle update? Or I think they're doing an update and they think they want an upgrade. I'm I'm confused. I think, but I don't really. I don't really want to go off and build a whole custom BA. I'd rather just have the log files, which will tell us pretty much what's going on. So why don't we add that to this? Ask them to upload log files that demonstrate the problems the two cases, and they can put it in GitHub or wherever they want to put it from there. And put it next to their custom action. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the, the link. Yeah, I just just provide the logs. I don't want to spin up a VM to to do this. That would save us all the problems. Log files should tell us what we need to know. Anyway. Yep. I'll uh, do that. Leave it open? Yeah, we'll leave it. yeah, we'll leave it on triage until next week. See if it comes back quickly. Failed to build Visual Studio Community Windows 10 VM. And I think, yeah, Sean said the same thing that I was going to say. They probably don't have done a 3.5 installed, and we don't install right. 3.5 as part of our installer, which we probably should, but we don't. Yep. No, that is uh, exactly what happens. There's the bug we had open from before when this was a question on what is eight. Um, I suspect that the check is not working correctly because you're supposed to get a prompt uh, right. if you run the installer, but I did that and threw it into uh, Wix BA and probably did not do it well. So do we toss it 311? Um, I 
I don't know. I mean, I suppose we could keep it around as a bug to go update the the warning. Okay. Sure. I'm not. Okay. okay. Uh, it's fine. Do you want to toss it 3.11 or 3x? 3x. Okay. See if anybody wants to pick it up. Yep. Yes. 2015 IDE VC project system installed property is set when not expected. Be nice if they provide a log file here again. But oh, well, it actually does yeah. check for the product or under that. Yeah. Without optional, that still sets it. Oh, cool. Well, it, I've never I've never liked the the naming of those things. Um, of course, previously you had no choice. You always got all languages, so mm -hmm. you could you know, make some assumptions. Um, it's very likely that, you know, the, the VC hive there is created all the time anyway. Yeah. Because no matter no matter what, you are installing, you know, bits of Visual C++ when you install yeah. Visual Studio, you know, 2015, even if you uncheck or leave unchecked the, the C++ yeah. support. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really like looking for cl.exe. That seems kind of weird. Yeah, that's the compiler that's is not the project system installed because you know. Right. Exactly. What happens if you get the Windows SDK? Well, well, that doesn't put it there, but. Yeah, if we're going to have this thing named project system installed, we should actually be looking for, for the project system. So let's put that in the bug and leave it open. Yep. Not the not the C sharp compiler, but something more project system like. Certainly not the C sharp project system. Yeah, not C sharp. Sorry, C plus plus. Documentation bug. This is not a Wix bug. It's not a Wix bug. I know the people that do this, so we probably should ship this yeah. over to them. Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and resolve this external. And um, Bob, can you uh, make sure we don't lose this on our way back to work? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this is not a Wix bug. Yeah, I remember taking a while just to find that stupid C file in the migration. We lost it for a while. Um, we finally found it and got it put up there so it went 404 but didn't look closely at the code so maybe we should fix up the code. Anyway, sorry, that's not here. Something to go do this. Please document that product search cannot be used to search for bundles. Well, it's product search, not bundle search, but that's fair. Product is a bit of a... Yeah, it was the term. old term for MSIs. Right. right, they're called products, product codes, and all that stuff. But I do appreciate that. that. So, yeah, I think adding some documentation that says this searches for MSI is probably a good thing. Yep. You could argue we should name it MSI Package Search, but because that would then match the name of the element in the bundle anyway. Mm, yeah, although that ship is somewhat sailed, at least in 3x. In 3x, certainly. So, but yeah, that's a that's a good documentation that we should take. Conditional assignment to variables. It would be useful to... Condition. Yes, I totally agree. Assigning variables to var other variables and such like that would be a cool thing. We need a whole whip on this. This is not having 310. Um, honestly, I think we should just toss this in four because it's going to be bigger than just, hey, set some variables. There's a whole lot of questions like, when should you set them? Exactly, yeah. What this, conditions you can, can you, you have can argue. After you want it after detect and probably after plan as well. Yeah, this could be anything. So, yeah. Or maybe before detect, before search, so you could use them in searches. I mean, there's all kinds of things that you could you could do that. Yeah, yeah. So there will be lots of things. There's a whole I set of things to design to be able to do this. Right. Should be customizable. Shouldn't be only one time. That's right. There's all kinds of places you could set these variables. That variables could be set in interesting ways. Because even after the install, some things might get set. Like the log paths, right? The paths to all, or is that all set to plan? That's all set at plan. I don't know yeah. if there's any variables that are set at the end of the execute phase that are actually useful, that can be used. But, but plan, certainly. Plan, certainly. Plan does change some variables. And detect, of course, changes lots of variables. So. Yeah. Anyway, yes, there's lots of design work necessary for this. I would toss it in 4x because I think it's bigger than that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That would take us to done. Jacob's typed something. Nope, maybe not. A custom
Rust and BA can do this. Yes, it'll be fine. But that's a feature in Burn. And I think a, a feature in engine to set variables, since we have a variable system, might be nice to have. A custom BA certainly could do that. And since they open it as a feature, probably reasonable. Util colon product search can find a bundle? No. Product search cannot find a bundle. Really? That would be weird. Product search should not be able to find a bundle. It should use the MSI APIs to find MSIs. Upgrade codes and MSI enumerate related products and MSI product, MSI, well, uh, what's the other one that gets a product code? MSI from product? I don't know what the other APIs. is. Anyway, Wix 3.10.1 launched. Yay! <laughs> We don't do this enough, but thank you all of you that helped contribute to this. Those of you that found the bugs, thank you. I don't know if you're listening, but um, if you are, thank you very much. Appreciated that. Uh, thank you to all that fixed it. Um, yay, XP support works. So um, I think that was the big thing in there, plus a couple smaller other fixes that were good to have in there as well. So yay, Wix 3.10.1. <laughs> I think we're done with it. Done, done, done. I don't, would like to not talk about it anymore at this point going forward. Cool. Oh, Bob's like, he's already done with it. That or he's lost audio, which is entirely possible. Which may mean I'm signing off by myself today. Um, fortunately, we got through triage before Bob lost audio. I'm going with Bob lost audio. Anyway, Wix 3.10, one launch. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, on to Wix 4, I say. Anything else? Things that people want to bring up? Questions, comments? Concerns, um, reactions. I've heard that. What is it? Questions, comments, and reactions, or whatever. Win 10 bug pull request. Oh, right, for the trying to fix around the thing. Yeah, I, I peeked at it and I was going to let Bob decide what to do about that. I think it's something we'll take in. I don't really want to release 3102 just for that fix, but. Uh, no, no. All the all the pull requests right now in the Wix three repo are just waiting. Uh, well, they're waiting on me, and I'm waiting on Rob to pull in the three eleven uh, version number changes. Once oh, they're yes. in, then oh, I probably forgot to do the branch for three ten one or the merge the master. Probably forgot to do that again. Or did I? I don't remember. We talk, yeah, we talked about it, but I don't remember. All right. Well, it I was Halloween try. night, so you yes. know, I was all. High on sugar, so. <laughs> All right. Well, I will. Um, I will make sure I finish those things, and we'll pull three eleven, and we'll roll from there. So the fix is really weird, but if it works, it works. Shell execute instead of create process, or something like that. Yeah, that is really weird. It's really strange using shell execute for that kind of thing. But given that shell interaction, I guess it makes more sense. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> well, I don't. That doesn't make me feel any more comfortable that Sean feels that way about his own pull request. But alrighty then. Um, yeah, we'll have to decide how much we trust that that's the fix to do, rather than hey, this kind of worked. But I guess if it doesn't have any other side effects, you know, switching from create process shell execute, then it doesn't really matter. Like, but I don't know. Um, I think it should sit 3.11 because we're going to have to make sure that it actually works for a period of time. It doesn't have Agreed. other weird side effects on like Windows XP or something. Well, and there's, there's uh, oh God, Windows XP. Um, there's also the, the big uh, Windows 10 update that might <gasps> already be ready. Oh, and, maybe we should take it if that fixes it. Well, that was, that was kind of what I was hoping for when I first saw the bug. It didn't? Hmm. Oh, well, all right. Oh. Are you on fast ring, Sean? You must be getting stuff fast. Fast track, yes. Bummer. All right. All right. Well. I really didn't think they were going to fix it, because seriously, who tests managed code custom actions in Windows? Yeah, but it just seems weird that that would be the only effect. Ah, uh, that's, that's yeah, that's run DLL 32. Right, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. 
All right, so look at that. All right, I will make sure I finish the, the repo manipulations. Cool. Any create process fails. It's a create process, not the run DLL32. Huh? Oh, any create process in that space. Mm. Mm. It just seems that's a pretty big hole to leave. Uh, pretty, it seems like many other things would do that. Mm. Don't know. That seems like a problem. Seems like something, I don't know, how do you tell Windows? Just open a connect bug? Yeah, that's a good question. They're they're so hot on telemetry. It's like, do they need to speak to mere humans anymore? But I'm not sure telemetry is really going to catch this kind of thing. Yeah. Well, certainly not to recause it. No. An install failed. Well, why? Install fails for lots of reasons. This happens if you launch a process from a custom action from the custom action server. How does this not break other things? We must not have many custom actions that launch process. But like create process, uh, create uh, Qt exec, that does it too, right? Does Qt um, exec fail? Moth comp. Immediate custom actions only from the apps and features. So it has to be an immediate mode custom action. But quiet exec would be one of them. Unless, well, no, Unless not it's if you're elevated. It's usually elevated, right? Right, which means then you end up in the other process, so you're okay. So it's your immediate mode, quiet exec, which you really shouldn't have any of those anyway. Presumably yeah, you're using it. What's it going to do unelevated? Uh, well, yeah. Read some values. Oh, and then not have anywhere to put them. So, hmm. yeah, I don't know how to think about that problem. I, I guess I can I can see where where uh, it would it would pass through a lot of stuff. It's just with managed CAs, there's always going to be a process created. All right. Well, it might be something to go try to kick to connect. Um, I'm running out of cycles here for this time slot, as expected earlier. So I think we're going to call this one good, and uh, we'll pick up again next Friday. Uh, I want to talk more about Wix 311 um, and what we're doing with that. Um, and good call. Wix 4. So, uh, but Wix 311 first. Let's go talk about Wix 311 and where we're going with it. So uh, until next week, you guys take it easy and uh, enjoy the 310 out there and we'll get 311 open and go submit your fixes and code changes to Wix 4.0. Talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.